Well, hello and welcome. This is going to be a really quick short video showing off the Pro Series throw levers from MK Machining. Now, the bag did not come like this. I accidentally sliced it through with a razor blade, but there's everything you're going to need to know. Now, for comparison's sake, I took off the standard throw lever from MK Machining off the P4XI that I had reviewed not too long ago. This one's going to be for my Gen 2 PST 3 to 15 and my CZ 457 that we will be installing later. Now, the difference between these two, well, they're both made out of nylon. Different processes, though. But the standard one is 20 bucks and can range, I think, to 25 if you option out for carbon fiber nylon. And this Pro Series is 35 So it's nearly twice the price. And for that, what do you really get? Is it worth it? Especially with MK Machining having an aluminum series, which are made out of 6061. I think they're all hinged. And they come in at around $55. Now, I currently don't have a need for one of those, but if I ever did have a need, I'll get it, and then I'll have all three. So, the Pro Series comes in under half of an ounce. Same thing, just like their standard line. So, it's not like you're saving a lot of weight. In fact, this one's a little bit heavier. But I believe the material is a little bit more elastic and a little bit more durable as a result, because it won't crack as much. Now, weight aside... And, you know, overall size dimensionally aside, because these are basically identical, what is really different between these two? Well, you can clearly see that the standard one is layered up and a standard 3D printer, whereas this one looks like it might be sintered. Now, I don't really know a whole lot about 3D printing. It's out of my realm of knowledge, but you can clearly see that the finishing on this is incredible. A lot of finite detail, a lot of sharp edges. And you can clearly see that on the inside splines that are going to be mating to the actual PST itself. I think this is going to be a much better fit than what the standard one is on the P4XI that I bought this for. You can see that the inside's a little rough, it's a little smooth, and this material generally doesn't have as much traction as this stuff does. This feels really, really nice in hand. And it also looks a lot better as a result, in my opinion. Now, these are both nylon. Like I said, I know you can get this in carbon fiber. I don't know if you can get this one in carbon fiber nylon. And then the aluminum ones are made out of 6061, but that's a story for another time. Anyway, let's put this on and see how well it fits. So here is Rudy, my 457 Royale. And here is my 315 PST that I bought off of Patreon provider Sparks not too long ago. I liked it so much, uh, I didn't let him have it back. Same thing with his Razor HD 3-18. to Sort of becoming a common occurrence. Anyway... 332nd Allen key. This fastener should come right out. And just like on the standard $20 version, you can see there's a bronze insert inside. A little hard to see, but it's in there. Now, I shouldn't be too worried about stretching this out because this is a little bit more of elastic material, I think, or at least so it feels like it. So this should just slide. Well, first off, I'm going to be anal about this and make sure I have everything facing the right direction. And because we're at minimum and it's going to be going clockwise. I want to make sure that this isn't going to hit the bolt, so I'm going to clock it pretty far down. But let's see how well this fits. And it's going to be hard for you guys to see, but even without the screw in there, just squeezing this a little bit, pinching it with my fingers, this is extremely tight on there. Perfect, perfect, perfect fit. I can't really slide it too much farther forward because as you can see it's going to be interfering with the back of my action but as far as how this is currently set up this feels fantastic and let's see if it'll clear my bolt it will but i want to get a little bit more clearance on that we'll clock it up a couple of more that looks good i am empty throw the safety on just for shits and giggles Let's see if this will go all the way down to three without interfering. It does not. So we'll come up one. And I think, I think that's gonna do it. Yep, all I gotta do is come back a little bit. Like so. And we're good to go. Now they specifically say not to put too much torque on this because you don't wanna pull it through. I cannot say I blame them on that. So I'm going to go just snug. Again, for something like this, once you get it so that the pieces are touching, give it about another turn or so, and it should be fine. 
Now I'm not going to worry about any sort of Loctite on this because if it comes loose, the only thing that's going to happen is it might move forward and back a little bit and that's easy enough to rectify. But as far as how it feels and as far as how it clamps onto the actual scope, MK Machining got this perfect. This fits as good as I could ever expect or hope from a throw lever. So is this worth $35? To me, I think it does. Because the nice thing about polymer is it's not going to get hot. It's not going to get really cold. It's not going to really get, it's not going to scratch up anything. And you don't have to worry about it deforming and then getting hit, deforming and then damaging the scope. Whereas with aluminum, aluminum on aluminum, if you hit that against something and it bends the actual throw lever section itself, you might damage the actual magnification ring. So for me, I'm perfectly fine with having a polymer throw lever like this. I'm even perfectly fine with having the standard one on my P4XI. But would I rather pay the 15 extra dollars and have this one over that one? I think so, because the texturing on this alone and the look is worth it for me. Plus knowing that the inside is much more precise as far as sharpness and how it's going to actually interlock with the scope, for me it's worth it. And if it isn't for you, you got plenty of other options. Anyway, thank you very much for watching. See you again next time. And a huge thank you to all of my Patreon supporters. Without you, this wouldn't be possible.